problem. All right. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, inverse operations. The inverse of subtracting 4 would have to be adding, adding 4. The inverse of taking the square root would be would ra raising it to the second power, right? Or squaring it, yes? Square root, square. <coughs> taking the cube root, cube, right? So, but before we can go to that, we have to isolate our root. So you can see that here, my root here is being subtracted by 4. So to undo that, I'm going to use my inverse operation. All right, well, all we're doing is inverse operations. The main important thing, though, guys, is you want to isolate your square root. <coughs> Once I now have my square root isolated, I can now use my inverse operation. The inverse operation of, of taking the square root would be to square. Remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So now I'm just left with 3x plus 4 equals 16. <coughs> hey. I'll draw about 2. Now, to solve, I'll subtract 4. I'm done. Now, the only difference, the only thing that's different with this is whenever I'm squaring both sides, guys, we have to make sure we check back with our solutions. So I'm going to take 4, I'm going to plug it back in for x, because there are going to be answers that aren't going to work. So it's really important that you guys do this. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So therefore, this one works. However, in the next example, I'm going to give you guys a problem that is not going to work, or at least one of the solutions.